Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can do goods receipt for a purchase order using a Fieri app. Okay, so um, you just click post goods receipt and here on this at this place you can see uh, here you can find the purchase order by supplier by plant and all those things okay so what I I for I know the purchase order number I want to do the goods receipt for okay this is the purchase order number 298 okay what I can do one thing you have to see so I'm doing a goods receipt okay and here I cannot do a reverse goods receipt okay so when you have to do a 102 or something I can only do 101 here okay just to make sure okay so i'll show you the purchase order in the system okay so this is the purchase order that is in the system and i'll probably what i'm going to do is probably i'll do it for the line 30 to make it more meaningful okay so this is line 30 which doesn't have anything purchase order history so i'll pick this line okay and here if you notice and here what i'm going to do is i'll just do it for 20 quantity okay now here at this point if you want you can change the different stock type and all those things very much easily now you can go here and if you click on it here you can enter short text and the most important thing delivery completed indicator there are other things that you can do okay storage location and stock type and all those things you can do this okay and there's short text you can do but very important you might say okay where is the delivery completed you can set this up that means there is no more delivery we are going to accept after the delivery complete is the final inverse indicator that can be programmatically done or the buyer does it okay so now i go and hit the back button i have selected i just need to select this and if you notice i have to just click here post the moment i hit post okay it will create a goods receipt number so here you can see 553 is created now what i'm going to do is i'll just go here and i'll just refresh this how can i refresh i'll just go to the same purchase order again and here if you see the third line you can see this is the now you might say okay this this is how you do a goods receipt in simple fury app and it's pretty simple that's the whole thing about saps 4 hana and fury it's very much simple so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day